How's it going guys? This is Michelangelo aka Sturman Life. So today we're gonna be talking about what happened two days ago, basically my competition day and my first IMBA all natural. Alright, so during my competition, how I got to second place and third place on open, so second place on novice physique. I felt like I messed up in the novice part, especially on the T walk. I wasn't expecting to do a T-Walk in the beginning because they mostly saved that for the main show but since not a lot of people, like competitor show showing up to the competition, we had to do the T-Walk so we did a T-Walk, I was like, shoot man, I was like, what was, what was I supposed to do? I was like, dang. So I kind of messed up. I want so how the two walk work is basically you walk to the back stage center, walk forward, so walk backstage pose on the center, then you walk towards the front stage of the center and pose, walk to the left, pose, walk all the way to the right, but however I didn't walk all the way to the right, I actually walk to the center again and pose that's like in my head I was like dang it but I have to like play it up play it off you know so I messed up there probably got deducted points off that but not quite sure and then after the going from the front I went to the right then I went back in the center to do my final pose which is supposed to be the back pose so I did that went to my wing, waited for all my competitor to come out, and from that point on, it starts with, sorry, and then it starts with the comparison. So basically, they made us do half a turn to the right, so half a quarter turn to the right, done that, show your side, have a quarter quarter turn to the right, show your back, and then go to your, have another to your side, to your back to your front. After that, they're gonna do the poses. So the first pose was the double bicep, so front di double bicep. I completely, after watching the video and my coach and the pre um, the judges actually came up to me at the end of the show and told me about it too. Kind of messed up on my friends up bicep because I would flex all the way down with my hand almost touching my shoulder, which is kind of wrong. So it's supposed to be right here and at least push your elbow outward so you can spread that lats more, and then your this should be like a little bit forward and out and then what well, everything should be up basically so I probably got detected points off that also with me overextending my tricep pose so basically my side tricep I would flare my arm way out where you can't the angle of my arm you can't even see the triceps of my arm my muscle of my triceps so, I was like, dang, but you know, it was my first competition, so it, it was what it is. I don't mind, I like my results. Personally, I didn't really care about placing at all. All I cared about was getting my feet wet and having fun, so that's what I did. But the novice, I was kind of nervous, so that didn't count, but during the open, from the T-walk from that point, I was like, Boom, I just hit the stage. I was like all happy dancing. I was like, you know what? Everyone freaking pump up the crowd up. Cause they were like really quiet. I didn't like that. So I felt awkward. So I was like, dude, um, shout or something. So I was like, I did this motion and they all started screaming and everything. I was like, cool. <laughs> so that was, that was pretty much it. 
it was just my pose posing that I got detected points on. The guy who got first place, he had bigger lats, but some of my friends said that he he kind of lacked core, but his posing was on point. So basically, he would get the points, you know. So now I'm gonna go back to bulking. I'm gonna try getting my lats bigger, my traps bigger, and probably more on my work on more on my shoulder and back at the moment, and I could get increase my increase my chest a bit too, especially my upper chest, so I could get that 3D effect showing. So that's my main goal right now. I'm gonna do actually one month, one month bulking again. And I'm gonna do the super, super one month prep cutting for my competition. <laughs> so my next competition will be May 13th. It's gonna be in Las Vegas. Yep, Las Vegas for the breast cancer awareness. I wanted to do June on Chula Vista, my home area, but I'm gonna be out for my drill. My active, I'll turn active for like a month and I'll be missing a lot of stuff. So it's gonna be rough for me to gain muscle. I might lose muscle for that meantime, for that being away for a month. I'll probably try my best to do like body weight workouts, so push-ups, squats, and everything. But the only hard part was gonna be eating, so I don't know how that's gonna work. I won't have any supplements while I'm there because it's gonna be like a hell desert, so it's gonna be, I'm gonna be more darker, so I'm gonna be black. Since I'm Filipino, I get like black. I'm gonna be more, probably thinner, or I don't know what's gonna happen, but everything's gonna change from that point on. So I'm just gonna look forward for that, see what happens, and I'm trying to do a competition before I go on that, wow, well, before I go on to my turn active. Yeah, so after, then after that, after my active, I'll bulk up again, and then compete September, or two more times, around my home area, so people from my area could watch me and experience the all natural life and the INBA, PNBA and how awesome it is. I love it. I love my first competition. I'm glad I went out there. My whole intention was to show people that if you grind hard, you push yourself, that you set the mindset and you lead by example, other people will start following you and they'll be more inspired and motivated to keep going or try to be follow you. I believe if you should never give up because you never know who's watching you and who's actually looking up to you. I always try to keep that mindset that someone's watching me. Like no matter what, someone is watching me and I don't want to let that person down because I'm probably their role model, you know? So everyone should just focus on themselves, try to be more happy, be more positive, get out there, and do your best, you know? Don't like anyone take take you down. Cause honestly, you don't need that. Like, I know it's hard to be more positive. It's a learning experience, I can say that. Some people, I believe some people aren't born with it, but we're born with a little positivity in our life. It's just up to us if we wanna help grow our positivity and increase it to be up and you're never gonna experience being down here again. We all reach rock bottom, everyone reach it, but it's life and we can all fix it by helping each other, spreading positivity and just being out there. So I hope you like this video. I hope I explain myself very well. I'm not quite sure. I'm just like talking what's coming up on my head right now. So other than that, thank you for watching, listening to me. 
I appreciate everything and God bless you and I hope you yourself get out there, follow your dreams and your goals and freaking bust your ass and kicking ass and doing whatever it takes to get away from that negativity. Once again, I hope you like it and then please subscribe, comment if you have any concern and like this video please. I much appreciate it. It, help, it will help me make more video showing that more people are watching and I know. Thank you.